we will take the case of wedge block system and uh, apply the concept of constraint or constrained motion here there is a rod or we can say a block of mass ma resting on the wedge of mass mb this angle is alpha and the ratio of mb and ma is eta which is given in the problem itself now we use the constraints which are there in the movement of a with respect to b if you see a can only move in this direction and there is a relationship between the movement of b and a if you take this vertical movement as y and the horizontal movement of the block as of this wedge as x this angle will always be alpha because it is a constrained motion the block will not move sideways it only moves vertically and always maintains the relationship of angle alpha with the wedge so the relationship is tan alpha is equal to y upon x or y double dot is equal to x double dot tan alpha so this is the relationship between the acceleration of the 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 block which is moving vertically and the wedge which is moving horizontally and we are assuming that the point of contact is not broken at any moment if the point of contact gets broken this relationship will not hold so we are assuming that there is a uh, contact is always there between a and b and this relationship holds now let us apply the equation of motion for the block for the the rod or block whatever we may call it a moving in vertical direction let us see the free body diagram of a this is the normal reaction which is acting on the a and same normal reaction will act on the wedge this angle is alpha so this angle is also alpha always remember if there is angle between two lines the perpendiculars to these two lines will always have the same angle alpha now the components of n now this is angle alpha alpha so what are the components of n n is in this direction the vertical component will be this is the direction of n the vertical component would be n cos alpha and the horizontal component would be n sin alpha and if we take the side supports they will be exerting the force which will be equal to n sin alpha to hold the block in the vertical so that it moves only in vertical direction as there is no horizontal movement so this we would not be using what we would be using is the vertical component of n which is n cos alpha now the weight of this is mb let the acceleration be a and this b acceleration of this b a dash we know that y which is y double dot a is equal to a dash tan 
alpha. Now using it here, we write for this block, if it has to move with acceleration of A in vertical direction, moving downwards, mv into A is equal to what is the force which is along the acceleration in the direction of the acceleration is only the weight which is downwards mbg and this n cos alpha is upwards which is opposing the acceleration this direction of acceleration so we have to write it minus n cos alpha now for the wedge for the wedge also we have to write the equation wedge is moving in this direction with acceleration a dash and what are the forces in the horizontal direction this is n this is n cos alpha and this is n sin alpha so it is only n sin alpha which is making the block to move with acceleration a dash so m uh, this was actually m a mass of the block is a so this was m a i have written m b by mistake this is m a and this is b it doesn't make much difference but since it is given in the problem like that we sh better we write it as a and this is as b now for this m b into a dash is equal to n sine alpha now take the ratio bring it on this side we write n cos alpha is equal to m a into g minus a and n sine alpha is equal to m b into a dash m b into a dash and what is a dash is a upon tan alpha take the ratio divide this equation by this equation 1 by 2 if we call it as 1 it will be tan alpha is equal to is it, let me use this side because we don't need, need this diagram anymore now tan alpha would be equal to mb upon ma into a upon tan alpha into g minus a so this is eta mb upon ma is eta so it becomes tan square alpha is equal to eta a upon g minus a we can solve this equation so g tan square alpha minus a tan square alpha is eta a so a would be equal to g tan square alpha upon eta plus tan square alpha is the value of the x is the acceleration of the of the wedge because we have taken acceleration of a as a and a dash would be a upon tan alpha a dash would be g tan alpha upon eta plus tan square alpha so this is the solution